Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a longer term market update for Theta, which has actually over the last few weeks come back down to retest a very critical level of support at 98 cents. And we can go all the way back here to May of 2022 following this capitulation like event. This was the region where Theta found support. It held the lows and it started to bounce from there, again, holding this level right around 98 cents, retesting it here in June, another retest right here in October. And then on the breakdown following the FTX crash, of course, that was flipped into resistance. But again, over the last few months, we have seen the break and reclaim back above this level. And the reason we're talking about this is because, again, we have seen this start to flip into support. The last few weeks have retested this, each of the closes holding above this level. And we're now starting to see a little bit of a bounce off of this, really giving us the sign that this is now support and it is no longer resistance like it was back here on the November rejection, which is a very bullish sign and is something that we have to be paying attention to because, of course, this is more or less the line in the sand where if theta is starting to come back below this, then it is no longer looking like a bullish weekly chart. And the reason for that is the main argument for the bulls at this point is that we did have a big fake out, a big deviation below the support at 98 cents, and the fact that the bears were unable to see any progress to the downside, the fact that this did not flip into resistance is a case to be made for the bullish argument. Because typically when you get these fake out patterns, they tend to be very strong signals for the opposite direction. So as long as Theta token does remain above the support and the range lows at 98 cents, this is still a very bullish looking chart. And the next major target that we can look to if this bounce can continue and we do have some more follow through, the next major target would be the range highs right around $1.70. That was the highs that we saw from back here on this August move. And that again was resistance where we rejected off of and then came back down to retest the range lows. So if in the next few weeks we do continue this upside move, that is going to be a major target to watch out for. And then we're going to have to wait to see how the price would respond to that in the event we have continuation higher. And I should note that if we were to get a move something like that, that would be a very bullish sign as well because that would give us a higher high because that would mean the price is coming back above the February highs, which were around $1.30, really just cementing a new uptrend structure as opposed to mainly what we've been seeing with this very slow bleed. Now, even though this weekly chart does look pretty bullish, I did want to talk about the theta Bitcoin ratio, which is just going to be showing us how theta token is performing with respect to Bitcoin. And you can see that this is still in a pretty major downtrend, representing that theta is underperforming Bitcoin and Bitcoin itself has better returns. And you can see that really clearly with Bitcoin, basically with the fact that it is coming back above, breaking above the August highs, which were around 25K, breaking back above the February highs, which are again around 25K, and it's now up to a high not seen since all the way back here in June. And taking a look at Theta, definitely a lot different here with not even coming close to the August highs, which were around $1.73. In fact, if I were to take a measure move, we are down about 38% from those highs. And then again, looking back here at Bitcoin, those August highs have actually taken us up back around 14%. So much different here, and you can see that underperformance represented by just that one simple high. You could also look to the February highs. Bitcoin has broken back above that level as well, again, around 25K. Theta, on the other hand, is down from the February highs at $1.32 by about 20%. So any way you like to represent it or look at it, there is underperformance here, which is illustrated by the Theta Bitcoin ratio coming back down, retesting the lows, and this low from back here in May of 2022, right around 380 Satoshis. Again, you can see that's basically where we had the pivot point off of back in the May 2022 correction. And then from that point, we proceeded to bounce. But we really haven't seen any structural reversal here. We're just basically still within this very consistent downtrend, again, retesting the lows. So for the most bullish scenario and what you really want to see if you are a longer term holder in Theta token is a reversal of this downtrend, which would mean holding support at this level. And this is more or less the last zone of support that we can look to because breaking below this would again take us to fresh lows. There's not much support all the way down until the green zone, which again is very much further down from here. The reason being it's pretty inefficient because these moves from level to level be, tend to be pretty quick. You can see just going back here, the pump from the green zone 
up to that 380 Satoshi mark was about 230% in just about four or five weeks. So there's not much resistance, not much support in this zone, and that's how we could get down to that level in the extreme event. Again, certainly doesn't have to happen, and, if, and for that to not happen, we need to hold support after at this zone and have some sort of double bottom coming back above, breaking some of these lower highs, and then really just starting to reverse the Theta Bitcoin downtrend. And if that can happen, then you can really start to justify those longer term holdings because as it stands right now, it is underperforming Bitcoin, taking on higher risk, and that it's just risk not working in your favor. So in general, that's sort of where I stand with Theta Token. I hope you guys did enjoy the content and the analysis. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.